Everyone had pretty much assumed it would be a Mexico-U.S. Gold Cup final. Jamaica able to pull off the stunner. Let's talk about Mexico real quickly before we get to the final. A very busy summer for them in Russia with the Confederations Cup, getting to the semifinals, getting to the semifinals at the Gold Cup, but at both spots, not good enough. Big picture, where is Juan Carlos Osorio? Where is this program? Well, I think Juan Carlos Osorio is going to stay uh, regardless of the result. But you can see that um, they didn't make good decisions since the beginning. Uh, they didn't uh, arm two good teams to compete in both competitions. Here at the Gold Cup, we didn't have a number nine. They called Cubo Torres. That was in a perfect form in MLS, but it's different when you are wearing the national team jersey. He had his, his chances. He couldn't score. We created some opportunities, but we didn't have a number nine. And we have a couple, or we had a couple, in Confederations Cup. So not a good uh, planification of both tournaments. On to Wednesday's <laughs> final, the reggae boys and, and Fernando. It's really been two guys leading them, Blake <laughs> and Maddox. And Lawrence. <laughs> Come on, Lawrence, Lawrence too, is the right, savior. Yeah. Um, well, I think that uh, for Jamaica, it's unbelievable. The Gold Cup is their World Cup. Remember, out of these four teams that they went to the semifinals, the only one who's not participating in the famous hex to try to go to World Cup 2018 is Jamaica. Jamaica, two years ago, eliminated USA to go to the final. This year, they said, well, if I eliminate one of the giants of the CONCACAF <laughs> two years ago, let me do it to the other one. And they are in the final again. Who knows what happens now? And, and keep in mind, when we had uh, our, our friend and colleague, uh, Giles Barnes, a uh, international for Jamaica, who was not called in for this tournament, he made a point of saying that there were a lot of experience and, uh, and uh, older players that yeah. weren't called in. So this is, to a certain extent, an experimental uh, team when it comes to Jamaica, but, but well done to Jamaica in the way that they play. They knew exactly how they wanted to play. They bend, uh, but they don't break. They have a great goalkeeper that they can rely on time and time again, which, which is wonderful. And the guy has confidence. He's a leader. He's the captain in Andre Blake and goal. Uh, I think it's going to be fun to see this U.S. team try to break down Jamaica. But I also don't underestimate the power of having guys that play in the United States in, in different leagues in the U.S. and how that will bolster their confidence. I don't think that Jamaica is looking at the U.S. as a team that they can't beat in, by any stretch of the imagination. But look, Mexico, you had one job. And, and you failed. And in doing so, you might have given a gift uh, uh, to the United States. But the pathway is there for the U.S. to win this. But do not underestimate uh, Jamaica in the way that they believe in themselves and the things that they can do. As you mentioned, a heavy American presence for the Jamaican national team, not just MLS. We're talking U.S. We're talking so, yep. Tampa Bay Rowdies or Pittsburgh <laughs> River Hounds. And, and this is a nation that, that needed some soccer feel-good moments, and they are getting it right now this summer in the United States. Do they have another one in store Wednesday, 9 Eastern, live on FS1 and Fox Sports Go? It's Clint Dempsey, it's Josie Altidore in the red, white, and blue taking on the feel-good story of the Reggae Boys.